Hello vlog, welcome back. I figured that we could do kind of some pre-trip prep together. While I do my skincare, I'll explain. Also, this is so random, but I got sent this Tatcha. You can screenshot it if you want. It's their Kisu Lip Balm and Peach. Not gonna lie, I'm obsessed with it. It literally feels like silk on my lips and I'm addicted to putting it on. And I'm already an addict of putting on lip glosses all day. So whenever a brand sends me a good new one, I'm like, this is trouble, this is trouble. Okay, so you heard me right. We leave on a trip soon and I want to get my ass, my arse, my ass into gear because I like to do pre-trip prep like the night before I'm gonna pack. So tomorrow we actually have our babysitter coming for five hours. That's actually a new thing I haven't talked to you guys about. We just literally talked to her about it our last date night and we were like, hey, so other than a date night once a week, cause Brady and I really wanna just be better about date nights. Can you also come once a week for five hours and that way we can schedule appointments for that day if I want to, I don't know, fucking organize my closet, I can. I just wanted Brady and I to both have one day a week where we have multiple hours to get some things done and I think that this is going to be especially helpful before we leave on a trip. Also, I'm realizing I'm still naked because I self-tan tonight, so let's put all my jewelry back on. Actually, I'll wait because then I can kind of give you guys like a formal YouTube jewelry tour because I've never done that on here. I've done it on on TikTok. I'm getting all my platforms mixed up. Okay, so we leave for Paris on Tuesday, you guys. I cannot even believe it. I'm so excited. The last time Brady and I went to Paris was with L'Occitane. If you haven't tried any of their stuff, you need to, but they are a French brand and they make skincare body products. Anyways, we went to Paris with them last June and that was my first time ever going to Europe in general. I have always, since I was a kid, literally dreamed of going to Europe. So that was an insane experience. And on that trip, we spent, I think it was like three full days in Provence. And then Brady and I ended up taking a plane and extending our trip. And we went to, oh, also I'll edit all the skincare products I'm using, probably on this side so you can see it better, but on the screen, just so we can get that out of the way. Like if anybody has questions about what I'm using as I'm talking to you with my hands. What the fuck was I gonna do next? Like, I, I can't, I lose my train of thought so quickly. One sec, let me find it. I'll find it again, okay? Two hours later. Anyways, that was an insane experience and we ended up going to France, or fuck, Paris, for a day and a half. So Brady and I were barely in Paris, but it was seriously so magical. I feel like the thing I remember the most that was so amazing about Paris was the architecture. It was so beautiful and we got to go see the Mona Lisa. So we got to go to the Louvre um, and we got to go to the Eiffel Tower and we got to go to the Arc triumph i don't know if i'm saying that right but anyways we actually knocked out quite a bit of things like in our day and a half there but by the time brady and i left i was like babe i actually have like so much more that i wish that we got to do so this trip is going to be so fun you guys because we are in paris for a total of a, a full week and i don't know if you can't get everything done in a full week i don't know if you're ever gonna get anything done i'm about to be fast as frick and be in tourist mode but i'm so excited we're going with david and avery to celebrate avery's 29th birthday and we were so excited when they brought up like this trip to us because like i said brady and i have just been like wanting to go back to paris so we were like amazing this is the perfect opportunity to go back we've been wanting to go back and also david and avery have been to paris more than us so they kind of know their way around and one of avery's really close family friends her name is deb she is the best shout out to deb is allowing us to stay in her flat that she recently bought there which is just insane to me like i'm so grateful and so excited i just have a feeling that this is going to be like such an amazing trip and yeah brady and i are just so stoked so here's what i want to get done tonight with you guys oh my god there is nothing better than doing skincare at night i just actually self-tanned my whole body in like preparation for this trip um my self-tanner is in my amazon it's the bondi sand one hour express in dark but i wear it for like two and a half hours i haven't done my face yet um i'm gonna wait to tan that honestly probably till like tomorrow because or actually i'll put it on tonight but it sits over night so it's like super easy to tan my face also i'll zoom you guys in so you can see the giant freaking zit i have okay okay i don't know if you can see that but i shaved my mustache in the shower and i made the mistake of doing it with i know this is gonna sound so gross but like my body razor why did i do that i don't know i immediately have a zit on my face 
cool. So like I said, we're not going to fully pack tonight, but we're going to start preparing. So what I want to do is set out all of my outfits that I'm going to wear. I already have like all the clothes sitting on our kitchen table right now. And they have been for like literally the last week and a half because number one i've just been so excited for this trip and number two i didn't want to like wear anything or ruin anything before we go because i have all my outfits strategically planned in a canva document because that's how type a i am so i want to set all of those out and then i want to probably take pictures of each outfit while it's sitting on the table we also need so random we also need to wash our bed or actually they're already being washed but we need to put our bed sheets and our duvet back on our bed so basically this is gonna be like kind of a prepping for the trip slash night vlog and i just figured you guys would want to come along for whatever because that's what my youtube is about is just vlogging my life and sharing the crazy things the mundane things the fun things, the mom life things. I just put Trig down for bed, so I'm feeling good that I'll be able to get everything done that I need to tonight. Tomorrow is when I'm going to like sit and fully pack my suitcase, but tonight is when I want to just, like I said, set everything out. Like I said, all of my clothes pretty much are out on the dining room table, but I don't have all my accessories out. So that's another thing I want to do is like go through my accessories, make sure I have everything because my goal tomorrow when our babysitter comes over is to have everything like laid out and ready to pack so that then I can just film like my TikTok pack with me and get it all in the suitcase and I'm not wasting precious time because we already don't have a ton of time as parents in a day so if i'm gonna like take advantage of having our babysitter here i want to be as like productive as possible so i figure that if i set everything out tonight including like accessories skincare everything then tomorrow packing will be so much quicker and i've kind of started doing this on every trip that we go on and i really do feel like it makes it so much better okay pretty much all my jewelry is back on beside my necklace but i'm just gonna leave that on let's go start laying everything out and i'll show you guys some of my outfits oh also i forgot quickly let me show you like my everyday jewelry that i wear so this is my wedding ring i have this thin gold band and then i have my diamond which is just around radiant i actually got or brilliant i don't know i think it's radiant i actually got or upgraded my ring like during Christmas Brady surprised me and I'm seriously obsessed with it like every day I look down at my hand and I'm just like I love my ring so much this pinky ring is from ring concierge they just sent this to me I actually wore this exact ring to the Grammys which is like why they gifted it to me and I love it then this is my Cartier um it's like the wedding band I was wearing it as my wedding band but I felt like it clashed with like my new ring these are from a local jeweler near me these are my made by Mary collection and I'm obsessed with them these are the gals huggies these are 100% like my most worn earrings this I literally cannot remember where it's from I'm so sorry oh and then my bracelets this is the Cartier juiced not even gonna try to say it it's the small version this is the Cartier love I need to go close the nail on it because or the screw on it because it's not all the way on right now because I took it off for tanning this is David Yerman the emerald bracelet Avery got me this for Christmas and I love it and then this is my tennis bracelet that I got last year um Katie Clark custom made this for me love her it's I think 18 karat gold and it's got like round diamonds and then they're all bezel set to match my mom's tennis bracelet and I love it I literally never take my jewelry off pretty much and then I have like an everyday watch that I wear or I'll kind of switch between two and then this Brady got me for our anniversary our fourth anniversary and this is the Van Cleef Sweet Alhambra I think is how you say it um necklace in the guilloche and I seriously love it so much anyway so that's kind of the everyday jewelry i wear i'm like obsessed with my jewelry and i never take it off i really do believe that jewelry is like an investment so all of this is stuff that i would love to pass down to my kids and i just love it so much i'm like obsessed with it okay now let's go get a drink and go start laying clothes out okay like i said we're gonna start laying everything out so that's first things first is me just setting out my outfits so i'll speed up that part and then i'll show some of them to you guys I am obsessed with this pink coat. This is like one of my favorite items I bought. Guys, I was being so for real when I said I have a Canva doc of outfits that I'm gonna wear.
Okay, before I show you like an overview of what I have on the table, let me go find my jeans and then we're gonna go in the bedroom and start grabbing like my purses that I'm bringing, make sure that I have all my shoes and then accessories like earrings and things like that. Welcome to my closet. Um, We work with what we have in here. I actually the other day filled up like four trash bags of bathing suits, clothes, shoes, things that I, I'm gonna go donate to the woman's shelter. That's always what I do with like my closet clean outs, extra PR, things like that. But it felt so good, especially in Arizona. If you can't can't see the floor of your closet that is a problem with scorpions and stuff so it felt so good to do that before a trip and now I feel like I'm not embarrassed to show you guys my closet so let me show you guys like kind of how I organize it but I'm so excited because we um which I don't know if I've updated you guys on this we bought a house um we close in like a couple weeks we close right when we get back from Paris and I'm so excited but that house has a bigger closet and I've never in my life had like a really big closet so I'm so excited Okay, so right here I keep like all of my quick grab shoes kind of um, And then you walk in and obviously I just keep like all my random boxes up here Then we've got like dresses We've got my long sleeves kind of up here Also, I forgot to mention that I keep a lot of shit in Brady's closet Which is in the guest room and then down here. I keep like some of my short sleeve stuff Then I've got my laundry hamper my sneakers right here and then over here we have more boxes we have pants right there some sweat sets some sweatshirts and then i think right here i have like more of my formal pants and then i have my other jeans hanging up and then i keep hats in there too because you got to consolidate what you can you know what i mean um random ass bags right there that don't fit right here in my little organizers this is where i keep like my designer bags and the ones that i want to protect i always keep my bags in their dust bags then right here we've got bathing suits and cover-ups and then down here i've got more of my like nicer designer shoes again i keep them all in their bags and boxes until i want to wear them and then down here i have random hangers and more shoes like boots okay we're gonna start grabbing some bags so number one i am 100 percent taking my little black chanel bag this is vintage my mom gave it to me this is probably my most worn chanel bag i am obsessed with it so you're coming with me okay then i want to bring this bottega bag this i also love i don't wear her enough but i'm obsessed with it it's this green one i love the weaving of bottega bags i think they hold up so well and i'm just obsessed with this color so i'm actually wearing this with like a lot of my outfits and i think it will be like the perfect bag to take around i'm then also bringing this real real bag i <laughs> scored this you guys this is a little bottega bag but it doesn't look like the normal bottega like the normal jody bags because it doesn't have the weaving it's just like soft leather and i love this bag i actually need to stuff it so i'm definitely going to stuff this before the trip so that it doesn't get like creases in it but i just keep it in the bag that it came in okay then another bag i'm bringing and actually i think the last bag I'm bringing is my bag that I got last time we were in Paris with Brady. This was my first Chanel that I bought like for myself and it was so special because we got it obviously our first time in Paris. So this is just like brown quilted i'm literally obsessed with the color so i feel like i have to bring her back with me especially because i got her in paris that's it for bags now let's grab some shoes i already have a couple pairs out there that i'm taking but let's grab the rest okay now we're moving on to shoes i'm gonna do the same thing i did with bags and just like show you each pair i'm bringing okay so number one i got these for our trip to bora bora i'm bringing these little gucci kitten heels i'm obsessed with these shoes I just think they're so cute and they're actually very comfortable and I feel like the heel height is good for walking around in Paris. What am I bringing next? Oh, okay. Next up for heels, I am bringing these black pumps. I think these are just such a good classic pair of black pumps. They're very tall though. I actually should have broken them in more before this trip. I've only worn them out once, but I still nonetheless think that they're gonna be very cute with a couple of outfits. Okay, next up for shoes. Avery actually got me these for my birthday and I think they'll be great, especially if like I try on the other black ones and I'm like, yeah, absolutely not, not gonna work. These are like a shorter pair of black heels. I don't know if I could get them out. Fuck. So cute. Little kitten heels. Love these. Okay, and then that is it for like nicer shoes. Now we're getting into sneakers. I am bringing a pair of knee-high boots, but those are already out there. And then a couple pairs of ballet flats, which are already out there. 
I'm going to grab the dust bags for those though right here because again, just like my bags, I always keep my shoes pretty much in their dust bags. Okay, for sneakers, I'm bringing this pair of new balances they're just really good neutrals these are the 530s i believe yes bringing these then another pair of sneakers i'm bringing are already out there so i think that's it in here okay we're good oh my gosh you guys i forgot to show you that i also bought so many like foot pads for this trip because i know we're gonna be doing so much walking so i'm literally like i'll share these with anybody so i got these heel pads for like boots and stuff i've heard that those are life changing obviously got a bunch of nipple covers we've got ugh, so many these are like foot pedals for the bottom of your feet these are the best they're spot dot cushions these are great for like if you just have like one or two spots that just like are rubbing you wrong these are amazing i'm sharing all these with brady too then i got these for the back of your foot and then i got there was another pair that i got for like bunions oh yeah they're these so they're like toe covers i danced growing up so one of my big toes is like has a bump on it and it hurts so bad when i wear closed toed shoes for too long so i think that'll be great and then i actually bought a couple new skims bras so i'm feeling very prepared in the department of comfort and i hope it works out in the way that i've planned i feel like we need a little drink break um i just got done laying out all my shoes all my clothes pajamas sweat sets underwear bras jewelry handbags pretty much everything all that we have left to do after this is like set out because I, I go all in you guys i set out everything so that when i pack it is laid out in front of me because i also get really distracted so which is why this is it's 11 11 right now make a wish so we need to set out skincare hair care makeup because i have like specific travel products that i bring how the fuck I'm going to get all this to Paris. I don't know. I think I'm going to need to get more packing cubes tomorrow because there's no freaking way. Actually, I could roll it. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be rolling all of these clothes. Oh, and that's also not including YouTube equipment, but that comes on the plane with me. Wes, did you just go on a walk? Oh, shit. Wes, come here. Labs get hyped up so quick. Whenever I want a drink late at night, I drink uncaffeinated greens. Hey babe, can you play some music? I feel like I can't listen to thoughts in my head for much longer. Yummy. I know the greens, like uh, people probably were like, when they heard me say, oh, when I want a little drink late at night, I drink some greens. Okay, these actually taste good, okay? I'm not like, mm, healthy. Um, these actually taste good and I feel like they just like satisfy the need to like drink something flavored oh did you see that metro boomin in future dropped like a second album hmm Here's down her <laughs> throat. Okay, I'm ready. Brady's about to have his nightly bowl of cereal. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even get a specific <laughs> bowl. <laughs> this is what we do after Trey goes to bed. Jam out. Zero progress in our room considering the bed situation. Our sheets are in the wash still. Also, Wesley's bed is getting washed because he shit all over it the other day. Um, Right here, pajamas, bras, underwear, sweat sets. One of them I'm wearing to the airport. And then let me show you my jewelry. Okay, this is the jewelry I'm wearing besides my everyday stuff. I'm trying to keep it pretty minimal. And all of these earrings pretty much are heaven mayhem. And then these right here are Brinker and Eliza. Okay, first things first I'm gonna set out is my travel skincare. Okay, now let's move into hair care. Last thing is leaving out some travel bags for myself so that I'm prepared. So I got these, I'll set my makeup bag for here and then I'll probably put one more just in case. Okay, showing you guys what I've laid out on the table. Right here are all my shoes that I'm bringing. These are all my outfits and they are already like coordinated with what I'm wearing. These are my bags. I have a belt right there as well. This is random shite that I need to put away. 
this is um toe pads and things like that that i'm gonna pack in a separate little bag and then very lastly over here i have my coats i'm bringing three clothes three cloaks um three coats because it's gonna be cold in paris okay now it's time to do brady and i's most hated house chore which is when we wash our entire bedding but we'll speed it up for you guys Okay guys, I'm honestly feeling really good about everything we got done, but I'm ready to crawl my butt into bed. I'm so freaking tired. Still need to brush my teeth. It's like, it's 12.03 right now. Um, still gonna probably watch some episodes of Vampire Diaries though, because I'm toxic. But I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching this vlog. Let me know if you guys liked it, and I love you guys and hope you have a great week. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, please.